Windows 8 changed the kind of devices that Windows runs on, and Windows 8 changed the kind of apps that Windows runs. Well, we're down at Hacked.io, and what we're doing is talking about our whole platform um, for app developers, really on the client side, that's Windows 8 which spans across from the small 8-inch tablet to the bigger tablets, the convertibles, laptops, desktops, and all-in-ones. There's a really big advantage to developing Windows Phone and Windows 8 applications. The stores for both of those application types are, are fairly small. I say fairly small, it's still 100,000 applications, but there's a lot of headroom in there. A lot of what we're seeing suggests that in terms of number of downloads, uh, People, developers will get a lot more money back for their work on Microsoft platforms. We have about 1.3 billion active users of Windows worldwide. That's, that's your customer. The barrier to entry to creating a business that's cloud and, and device based is lower than it's ever been. So everything that I've done has been with the, the free tools. So it's all been with Visual Studio Express for Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8. But to be honest, that toolbox is pretty comprehensive. The SDKs that Microsoft uh, gives to the developers are the best. You have the best tools with the best environment on Visual Studio and Blend to build, to build your apps. A lot of companies are starting to put out contracts where they want their own official apps made, especially with Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 becoming more and more uh, prominent in the marketplace. My boss was in Starbucks not so long ago with his, uh, his Surface device running Windows 8. Somebody came up to him and said, um, what is that? And he said, oh, it's a Surface device. Kind of gave a little demo. And he said, that really makes all the other stuff look pretty old fashioned, doesn't it? Hopefully what we'll see is that Microsoft goes on to develop things which are even cooler and, and more nice to look at and more beautiful.